Since Kamala Harris replaced Joe Biden as her party's nominee, Democrats have been experiencing an emotion that they haven't felt for several years. Joy. Joy. Joyful. Joyful warriors. But a key subgroup of voters are not feeling the joy. These undecided or persuadable voters in the seven battleground states will decide the outcome of the 2024 election. This persuadable electorate, around 3 million voters give or take, have lower incomes than the population at large. They're disproportionately sour about the economy and their own personal finances. My colleagues interviewed more than two dozen undecided voters in four of these battleground states. These voters are highly transactional. What they want to know from their candidates, above all else, is what will you do for me? Kamala Harris has begun to respond to the concerns of these undecided voters. She's released a handful of policies, such as limits on what she calls corporate price gouging, that she says are intended to lower costs for people. But her slogan, a new way forward, has very little to do with policy substance. She's done little so far to separate herself substantively from President Biden and his policies. The way Harris is framing the race is that Trump is a tired old stale act, a force of darkness. And she is trying to present herself as the opposite, a fresh break and an optimistic future. But for many undecided voters who are concerned about inflation and the cost of housing, Harris's optimism is falling flat. Trump and his allies have tried to use Harris's optimistic tone against her. They've mocked her laugh in campaign ads in an effort to portray her as unserious. When it comes to addressing economic concerns, Trump routinely promises dramatic price reductions and government giveaways that have little chance of becoming reality. More voters still see Trump as the stronger candidate on the economy, and many undecided voters still retain fond memories of when goods were more affordable during the Trump presidency before COVID arrived. But even if he has the edge on the economy, a significant proportion of these undecided voters are still holding out on Trump based on concerns about his behavior. Polling shows that voters see Harris as more intelligent and temperamentally fit for the presidency than Trump and more voters think that she cares about people like them. Both the Harris and Trump campaigns are building their media strategies around reaching these undecided voters. For his part, Trump has done a number of interviews with non-traditional channels, podcasters, online streamers, to reach an audience of largely young men who may be open to voting for him. It's clear that the Harris campaign understands the hurdle ahead, but it's up to her team to show that Harris can marry her optimism with a policy program that reassures voters who are still looking for more information about how Harris will be different from the deeply unpopular president that she serves alongside.